Hey there, hockey fans. Welcome into another matchup recap. Pat Strong joined by the voice himself, Rhett McGibbon, and today we're going to talk about the matchup between the Flames versus the Seawolves here on home ice. And Rhett, Flames were able to pull off two big wins against a top 10 opponent, winning not only 7-3, to three, but then a tight defensive matchup the next day, winning 2-1. to one. Yeah, Flames came out and uh, a couple good hockey games with them. One thing I really like is the fact that this was a, a tough physical series, especially in game two, uh, you know, I would never say our group is perfect about staying out of the penalty box, but they did a pretty good job this weekend. Special teams came out uh, to play and uh, good, good to get two wins against uh, a really, you could say almost, a, it's a heated rivalry. Yeah. I'll put it that way. And anytime Stoney Brook comes to town, you don't know what to expect. When Coach Gare follows behind the bench, you don't know what he's going to say, what he's going to do, and how he's going to rile his boys up. But the Flames are able to come out on top both games, as you said, seven to three and two to one. And it's pretty interesting because we've been talking about how the Flames are not only in their gauntlet, so much big win against a rival in yeah. Stony Brook, but even more importantly, it cements themselves now atop of the ESCHO conference standings and gives them uh, a little bit of an edge when trying to get that three-peat of the regular season conference title. Yeah, you know, anytime you always want to win conference yeah. games, right? And you want to get in the mindset that we're going to dominate you uh, year in and year out, and even next year we're going to take it to you as well. And Liberty has had the edge over Stony Brook here in the past few seasons. Uh, returning the favor from a few years back when they had JT Hall. That was a pretty good hockey team. Yes, it so was. The, the fact that Liberty uh, now on the right side of the scoreboard against Stony Brook, good for them moving forward. Moving forward with the uh, rest of conference play, let's talk a little bit about what the Flames have come up because they have a lot of good teams uh, yeah. on the road, especially they're going to Syracuse and they're going to go to Stony Brook at the beginning of the next year. Yeah, you know, Stony Brook's not uh, an easy place to play. Whenever you go to the rinks, you, you never really know what's going to happen, to be honest. And then, you know, you got New York University. That yep. uh, is a tough place to play. Syracuse is a team that's kind of, uh, it's dipped this year. Mm -hmm. You know, you've seen them. They've, they've had some tough losses here as of late. But anytime you play on the road in the collegiate setting, especially in the ESCHL, uh, you don't know what to expect. Uh, depend on officiating, bus legs, whatever it may be. So the Flames have done a pretty solid job, especially in game number two of Adrian, uh, coming out prepared to play on the road, and hopefully that will continue throughout the rest of the year. Well, Rhett, always thank you for your insight, and make sure to tune in and keep watch of the Flames, and how you keep watch of the Flames is follow us on social media mm -hmm. to hear all the things about Liberty Hockey. But for Rhett McGibbon, I'm Pat Strong. Thank <laughs> you.